Hi, this video is going to cover the download and setup of the IGC Survey HD application for the iPad. Before we begin, I want to mention that you do need to have licensing available to you in order to use the survey application that you're going to download. Without this licensing, the survey application will not work. For information regarding the cost of this licensing, please email sales at igcsoftware.com. Once you have that licensing available, it's pretty easy to download and set up. The first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go to the IGC software website and create an account for yourself. So if I open up Safari and I go to igcsoftware.com, at the very top, all I have to do is hit IGC users, hit customer care at the top, hit create an account. When you create the account, the unique email address that you're entering in and password that you set up for yourself will be used to validate your activation on the device. After this has been set up, you're going to need to open up or go to the App Store. We have a quick link here available for the App Store, but if you choose not to use that, just hit the round button on the bottom of your iPad, open up the App Store itself, And then from here, using the search block in the upper right-hand side, you can search for IGC Survey HD. The application you're going to want to download to your iPad is the one in the middle. It's $9.99 from the App Store. Once that application has been downloaded, you're going to see that app icon appear on your screen, as mine is at the bottom. So at this point, you don't actually want to go into the application yet. You need to go into the settings for that application and enter in your account credentials. So to do that, I'm going to hit the settings icon. From there, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. I'm going to go to Survey HD. And from here, the second block of text down is going to be where you're going to enter in your activation credentials. Your username is going to be the email address that you used when you created the account on our website. The password is whatever you set your password at. Now, some of you that have downloaded this may be using another product that we offer called QuickMove. If you are using QuickMove, the survey application synchronizes with QuickMove. You need to enter in your QuickMove sync settings, your HTTP port, and then also your QuickMove username. For assistance with this, if you don't know what any of that is, um, you can definitely contact our support department. They can be reached uh, by email um, at support at igcsoftware.com, or you can dial our support line. That number is area code 614-759-9148. So once you have your Quick Move Sync settings in, if that applies to you, um, you also have your custom email settings below. If your company is on an Exchange server, you can enter in custom email settings in here. What this does is that any email that you send directly out of the application will push that email through your Exchange server. You will need to have your server address, your Exchange username, and password um, in order to do that. And you may need to contact your Exchange admin to get that information. Below that, there is a custom reports password. Some companies um, that we've done custom reports for, for specific intrastate uh, documentation or local documentation, will have a report password. This is where that password is actually entered in. It will give you access to those reports. Once you've done this, you're ready to go ahead and start using the app. All you have to do is touch on the app itself, and the app will load up. It'll download the information, your tariff information, and be ready for you to use.